Three guys walk into a bar. Bar crawlers, welcome back. We have missed you so much. And as always, we are three guys walking to a bar, and I'm Rob. I'm Charlie. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> I'm Nathan. No, no. Keep going. Keep going. I'm Nathan. Sorry. I'm taking, <laughs> taking a drink of water. We've been off for yeah, almost a month. I forgot how we do this. <laughs> so unprofessional. So unprofessional. Uh, well, we, we came back especially in time because we wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and there's no better gift to give you guys than the pleasantries of our soulful tones in your ears. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, guys, I just wanted to, first of all, go around the table, talk about Christmas. This is a great time. Char- not Charlie, sorry. Nathan, you celebrate two. I celebrate both. You celebrate a lot of holidays. Well, there's more than two, but well, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> just, okay. the, just both. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually very surprised to learn. I, yeah. I, I learned so, it Saturday yeah. that you were half Jewish. Correct. Well, so, so yeah. So, my mom's side of the family is Jewish. Uh, she grew up Jewish, and then, obviously, you know... This, this time every December, uh, we, you know, go out and celebrate Hanukkah with my mom's side. But then, you know, my dad grew up, uh, I think he was raised Catholic. And then, uh, so every time we, uh, every December 25th, we go over and celebrate it on his side of the family. Oh, is that when Christmas so, yeah. is? Oh. What's that? Is that when Christmas is? Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. cool. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Oh, so, you know. Oh, wow. We'll, we'll remember that. Uh, yes. It made me very popular in elementary school because I got double the gifts. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. there you go. It's awesome. Nice. It's awesome. D- does it feel more intimate intimate now it, that we're closer? It, it is. We are very okay. close. Oh, wait. We didn't even talk about where we are right now. <laughs> yeah. Go, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Welcome to my lovely home, gentlemen. Because <laughs> for those who don't know, we were uh, not kicked out. But unable to unable record. to record at our usual digs due to uh, COVID restrictions. So one of the only places, probably the only place that we could have done it is here in my uh, dining room. So <laughs> if it sounds a little different, if you hear weird noises and... Cats. Stuff. It's, yeah, it's probably my cats running about. Well, I'm, I'm having a hard time because I look right to talk to Charlie, yes. not left, and now it's yeah. backwards. And now I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm having to look left to talk to you. This is very. Yeah. I, I feel like we're just. We're connected. Yeah, we're right. We fine. always look at each other, but never this close. Uh, I feel ever. like it's going to be harder to argue this way. <laughs> it is. Uh, Charlie, do you guys do anything special like this time? Like, what's the. Uh, or is it just like a eat, feast, be merry? Uh, you know, a, a lot of eat, feast, and be merry because I've got a big family. So. So, like, I've got uh, Christmas time is a hard time for Mackenzie and I because we a lot of times have like six or seven different Christmases that we go to. Wow. Right. So it's like my my family, her family, my extended family. Sometimes it's her extended family. Then my parents were divorced. So we did my dad's house. And then sometimes we would do my grandma's house. And it's like what that we had to schedule so much stuff. And it was such a stressful time of year for us. That is too much. But you know, Christmas is Christmas, and you can't be. I'd be upset. Christmased out by four, right? Yeah, <laughs> it, gets like, that, it gets that way. But you're but a big Christmas guy, right? You have your Christmas. you have your Christmas decorations up before. I have to fight. So yeah, so uh, my wife is very wait till Thanksgiving. Uh, but 2020 has been so difficult on all of us that. It was after October, like, you know, once Halloween hit, she's like, if you want to do it, go she ahead. She was like, let's bring some cheer. We well, need it. Right, right, right. So so we went ahead and put him up, and I love it. And, uh, I mean, as you guys know, I have a kid now, so he's not as excited for Christmas because he has no idea what the hell it is. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm more pumped about it because right. Yeah, right, right, right. Know, he's excited. I am excited to receive your Christmas card. Oh, it's, it's on the way. It's actually maybe in the mail right now. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. We got it? Oh, there you go. <gasps> and you didn't tell me? I wrote a I wrote a really heartful message on it. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Yeah, happy birthday <laughs> or happy Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, uh, Jesus. Can, can, I, can I tell you guys a, a Christmas story from my my old times and that I just realized this year was awesome? Please. Okay. So uh, when uh, we would come downstairs, there'd be separate piles for me and my two sisters where there would be gifts and my uh, the stocking would be there that Santa left that had the name on it. And you're like, that's your pile. And there's a couple toys there, things of that nature. By the front door was a Super Nintendo. So we're talking 94, 95. And on video, as my parents were filming us, you hear my nice pubescent five-year-old self go, that's mine. 
And then my mom's like, no, Santa left that for everyone, I think. Well, don't you fret, guys. In it's my home yours. right now <laughs> is that Super Nintendo. <laughs> so despite us sharing it as a kid, in the end, that's it that, was mine. That is always how I treated my <laughs> consoles with my brothers. Yeah. It was always like, because none of us lived with our dad, but he's always the one who bought us our video game consoles. Mm-hmm. And so whenever we left after the Christmas break, I'd be the one to take them home. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, yeah. Well slick. done. Very slick. Well, I'm the biggest gamer of the three brothers, mm. but no one could see this happen. But you looked like you were hiding it under your shirt as you walked out. <laughs> <back>. <laughs> like, no one will see this console under here. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the joys of being an only child is no sharing. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. You get, those you, are my, those you get are my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, if you guys don't mind, I, I actually brought gifts for you each. Oh, wow. So, uh, if, one second, I let me get I those knew. out yeah. for you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> so, during, I totally, yeah, I totally would have gotten you something if I knew. <laughs> during our time off, uh, we had time for some reflection and to catch up on some uh, new hobbies and things of that nature. And, um, I took up poetry. Actually, oh my God. I was very excited about this. Looked up different poems and things of that nature. And uh, one I really enjoyed was <laughs> acrostic. Have you ever heard of an acrostic poem? No. No. I'm sure you're going to tell us. Yeah, <laughs> of course. So uh, what an acrostic poem is, is you write the name of something or someone vertically and then use each letter of their name to write something nice about them oh. horizontally. Is it going to be mean things? No, no. What I did is I actually reached out to loved ones and uh, close friends and family, and I, I had them all fill one out for you, and I kind of took... Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. And I kind of... What I did true. here was... Uh, <laughs> I don't buy this. I took the mean of what everyone <laughs> no. wrote, and um, I just wanted to share with you what everyone, you know, bar crawlers and everyone said. Uh, Charlie, do you mind if I start with you? Please do. <laughs> so, for the C, charming. Oh, nice, right? For the H, handsome. Oh, see, like, yeah, I feel like good. this is going to go downhill real these quick. Backfire For the us. A, um, anti-Semite? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that was on there. Sorry. Uh, rat-faced. Wow, that's just mean. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, long penis. Oh, there you go. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Did you ask McKinley about that one? Uh, no, actually, that one came for your brother. It was weird. <laughs> uh, ingrate. Good God. Just awful. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and we're at the, the final one here. E. Uh, empty of emotion. A black hole of a human heart. Void of any feelings. Soulless. Bleak. Null of mind. <laughs> So okay. I got that for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, you thank you so much. I'm going to put this on the fridge. Thanks. All right. Anyway, uh, next segment, right? Na- no, no, oh, Nathan. No, I Nathan, one. I made you oh, one. Very I made cool. you one. Uh, don't worry. Just, oh. dude, they were even nicer to you. Oh, I'm sure they were. <laughs> uh, so for it, nurturing. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then affable. That's, mm. That was nice. Teaches racism to blind people. <laughs> You get back to the community. I didn't know. Yeah, right, I, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I volunteer. Harasses young kids at parks. <laughs> well, I have a comment. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, had, you had time out there. Yeah. Alluring. Hmm. Oh, that works just for, this, for the kid harassing. Good for you. Um, <laughs> and then at the end, narcissist, self-centered, gives plastic fruit to homeless for sport. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you turn on music for sex, you play an edited version of our podcast featuring only your voice. <laughs> You like to play the game Operation, and when you draw a card, you sit and wait for time to run out so the guy dies. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas, Nathan. Oh, that is genuinely one of the best gifts I think I've ever received. You're, you're welcome. You're <laughs> uh, that was very good. Oh, wow. I'm was, blown away. So, yeah, that was wonderful. Thank, oh, thank you, Rob. You're welcome. You're welcome. Really I hope you can read my handwriting. That was the long winded ones. Yeah. We got worse over time. <laughs> I'm surprised you read that the ink is like, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bleeding <Yeah>. through. <laughs> but thank you very much, Rob. I oh, you're it. welcome. I you're love welcome. it. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. I was so nervous you weren't going to take that well. No. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, yeah, we'll the talk anti- after. But the yeah, yeah. the anti-Semite one hit hard right after we talked about Nathan being We knew there Jewish. was a slip that was going to be switched. I, I won't lie to you. I'm so glad he told me he was Jewish because I almost put Nazi sympathizer on yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, give Charlie the anti-Semite I left card. it That's off fine. because of All that. Right. <laughs> All um, right. Uh, so we have a new game, guys. It's not really a new game. Everyone's played it before. It's um, 
It is called Two Truths and a Lie. Uh, mm. You play it as like college icebreakers <laughs> where you're like, I have a cat, I have two sisters, and I have a dog. I lied. I have three sisters. Okay. Anyway. Yes. So we're going to do Christmas time, adv- you know, Christmas adventure here. So I'm going to give you three facts, weird statements about Christmas. Okay. Two of are true. One is a lie. You have to tell me which one's a lie. You guys prepared? You told yeah. us not to. Oh, well, not prepared. I just want to know if you're prepared oh, for oh. a game. <laughs> are, are we ready? Yeah, are we ready? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Th- yes. Oh, yes. good. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. The first set we have. An article in 1979 explains that the red nose from Rudolph would actually be from a parasitic side effect. Second one. A 2014 Jap- Japan survey found that 40% of Americans dislike their Christmas gifts. And the last one. It is estimated that Santa would have to travel 5.083 million miles per hour for 24 straight hours on Christmas Eve to make it to every home. How quick? 5.083 million miles miles per hour. So, any initial thoughts on this one? Uh, my my line is going to be the Christmas gift one. So yeah. So before I make my prediction, yeah, yeah, please. I Bless think you all good, of sir. The, I you. think like you like you hinted at, uh, you know going over the segment yeah that all of these have some truth to it i just think he changed them they do they do yeah yes they do and you're going with japan's uh unhappy with their gifts 40 it says 40 percent. yes yeah i think so honestly that's that's what my gut's telling me too i think it might be higher it's <laughs> it's either it's either higher or it's a different country yes okay so you're going with that yeah, one? Yeah, we'll, we're going to go the you, same You one. both are correct. Hey! Now, now, deeper question. Is it a different country or is it a different number? Well, we already gave our answers yeah, on so, those. Oh, man. Well, I said both. So I, Oh, you said both? I oh. said it's either a different country or it's higher. I think, um, it's, I think it's a different number. It is Japan. Okay. 75%. Wow. Could you imagine wow. that? Wow. Yeah. See, but the issue for me is like, if I didn't like my Christmas days... I'm not going to admit it most of the time. Well, no. So what they say is a lot of people will like return it or re-gift it. They don't actually just say, hey, I didn't like this. But when, yeah, okay. be like, but when yeah, like, a well, random person takes you, a yeah. survey, like, yeah, who right. cares? Yeah. yeah. It's fair so, enough. Wow. <laughs> All right. Next set. According to social media status changes, approximately two weeks before Christmas, the most couples tend to break up. On the inverse, on Christmas, couples that are least likely to break up on that day of year. And the last one. The Associated British Press surveyed that the average American eats roughly 5,000 calories a day on Christmas. First, that, one's, that one's true. Yeah, the first one's a lie. I think it would be like Valentine's Day or something. Two weeks before Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. You think? Mm-hmm. Did they break up? Um, I think it's... <laughs> Guys! <laughs> There's like a cat fighting yeah. behind us. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what's happening? You've heard I a think... snickering in the background <laughs> while Rob's reading these. <laughs> like going at each other. Sorry. Um, I, think, I think it's Christmas Day getting together. Okay. I'm going with the first one, breaking up. It is actually the calorie intake. Oh. Is it higher? 7,000 calories Jeez. a day. Yeah. Could you imagine? I should have I should have heard 5,000. That's not enough. <laughs> they say apparently, like uh, based on the survey, so most Americans have a large breakfast and then a large dinner, but there's always a lot of snacking throughout the day just because oh, there's absolutely. always food sitting out. So Wait, so people get together on Christmas like Day? Like families. The most? Uh, they or- say that their status doesn't change. Oh, it doesn't change. It's the okay. least likely like, day like, that you're going to break up. Family, like it's gross. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know. <laughs> no, Who no. are you going to be meeting? But yeah, on but Christmas two weeks. Day? But apparently, two weeks before Christmas, it's uh, the most. According to uh, online social media status changes, that is the day that most hmm. people break up. Who would have thought? Yeah, right. Don't want to Man, buy that Christmas what ter- gift. What a terrible time to break up with somebody, eh. right? Well, I mean, not to get a gift then. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that's, that's why you don't. That's, You're like, yeah, I can't probably, figure this person out. <laughs> probably be easier to break your I just don't heart. know you at all. <laughs> yeah. Probably be easier to break your heart now. <laughs> all right, last one. A, Brit- a British research team did the food math, and if Santa visited 640 million homes, oh boy. he'd consume 150 billion calories of milk and cookies. Next one. There are more horror movies starring a killer Santa... Then Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween movies combined. Yeah, it makes sense. That does make sense. The world's tallest snowman is 122 feet and one inch tall, and it's actually a snow woman. I think it's the first one, because, like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but, like, Santa never ate all of the cookies. Uh, my uh, my Santa had pecan pie and crown royal, so. 
<laughs> my, see, my, my Santa always took like a bite of maybe one or two of the cookies ah. and then had some mm. of the milk enough to be able to show that he drank some. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then we had carrots for the reindeer, of course. Well, yeah, of course. How tall is that snow woman? 122 feet and one inch. What is that in kilometers? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go that one. I think it's taller. And you're that, doesn't seem, that doesn't seem tall enough. Yeah. You're, you're both actually wrong. Oh, my gosh. So in horror movies, there have been 18 films starring Killer Santas, and then combined, there are 30 films from the Friday the 13th and See, that's, Halloween. See, that's where it surprised me. I thought there would be like 50 Killer Santa movies. Uh, they're, they're, I, I, kinda, I was surprised by that, too. But if you divide them all out, that means there's more Killer Santas in Michael Myers movies. So that's something. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. See, but there's something. also a lot of there's also a lot of horror Christmas movies that don't necessarily deal with a with killer, killer Santa, Santa. Right, right? Like Killer Snowman or just right. yeah, anyway. Krampus. Krampus. Ooh, I love that movie. That was so good. I didn't so. see it, but I know of Krampus. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So very fun. Enjoyed that time, uh, <laughs> and I enjoyed researching that. It was actually yeah, kind of fun. Those that was some fun facts. So we are just going to get to the tier list. We got a lot of Christmas movies to to check out. And Charlie, I have my second gift for you. Oh, jeez. If you notice, there are actual numbers by the movies there. <gasps> I, uh, I know. I know. You just, made a list. I did. I'm just so for you. happy, just for you, Nathan. Charlie. No, just I'm for in, you. It's in order. <laughs> it's in an order. It's in an order. I could not have asked for a better gift for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that poem was hard, but whatever. It's in order. <laughs> in order. Yeah. Top that, Mackenzie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, of course, we have our five tier list here. We'll start at the bottom. I'd rather die hard than watch this film. Cindy Lou, who actually likes this movie? It's a so-so life. Frosty, this movie is dope, man. <laughs> and <laughs> I appreciated that. I did, I did. <laughs> we had a lot of silence after these. Yep, that kind of hurt my feelings, but we'll move on. <laughs> I'm writing them. I know. And, uh, of course, at the top we have uh, Buddy the Elf. This is my favorite movie. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, we're gonna start actually with kind of the easier ones to go with. Uh, let's just go like old school claymation. Uh, let's start with Rudolph. Rudolph ended number three on my list. Really? It's yeah, pretty, I really enjoyed it. It's great. Yeah, it's pretty low. It just beca- it's just under halfway for me. I have it at eleven. Ooh. Out of thirteen, we have thirteen movies on here, so it's eleven here, out of thirteen. This is the way we're doing it. Let me number these real quick. Yeah, go for in, it. I have them in go order. For but it. I don't have numbers next to them. Yeah, please. So we can by all, all means. say our numbers. Hold on. <laughs> Nathan, this is a time of giving. Yeah, I know. Time for, yeah. <laughs> this is All right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, a, seven. A big Rudolph thing, is seven. On my a list. big thing for Rudolph for me was that um, I, I, I just it was one of the first claymations ones yeah. that I saw. Oh, okay, yeah. And I just really enjoyed all those. So we actually rewatched this. My wife's never seen it until like a week ago. Okay, and re- re- I rewatched it again for multiple times. Uh, Yukon Cornelius is one of my favorite characters. He's so funny. Oh, oh, he's so great. So good. And the elf who wants to be a dentist. Yeah, they need dentists up there. Um, and actually, we looked it up. Without that movie, um, that actually, there's a there's a fan conspiracy theory that the movie Elf takes place in actually that Rudolph universe. Huh. Because the, I'm uh, sorry, I was putting numbers. What did you say? The uh, the movie Elf yes. is uh, takes place it's in the same conspir- universe. In the same universe, because if you notice, uh, their their outfits are the exact same on there, and then oh. uh, you also have like the claymation snowman in Elf and things of that nature. So there's a theory that it takes place in that entire universe. So that was, and Mr. Narwhal, of course, Mr. Mm. Narwhal. So that that was kind of <laughs> interesting. Where'd you, where'd you put it? I had it at eleven. It's fine. I like a, I love Christmas movies, so all of these are really good. So I just have it at eleven because I'm. It is what it is. <laughs> the cat just jumped on the counter. I want nothing more than to just run over there. <laughs> Nathan, throw him there. off. Isn't there cake on the counter? <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. Go get him, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> I I hope we caught all that noise <laughs> on the podcast. That every, cat just almost knocked a bunch bottle. of liquor bottles <laughs> off the top of off. Nathan's fridge. <laughs> I hate to break the news to everyone, but if you've ever wondered, we actually don't record this at a bar. (laughs) So, but yeah, I had it at eleven. So you had it at three. I had it at three. You had it at seven. So putting in the middle. (laughs) Sure. It's a so-so life. Okay, we can do that. Oh, technically eight. I miscounted. Oh, okay. That's fine. (laughs) My apologies. That's fine. We'll kill you later. Okay. Uh, Next one we have is uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. That's number three. That is the best claymation uh, classic, Christmas classic, in my opinion. In my opinion. Number nine for me. Number eight for me. 
Hmm. I we, we talked about this the other day actually um, at, at work, and I I love this movie. Yeah, because of. I didn't know his name was Meister Burger. It's Burger Meister Meister Burger. <laughs> right, right. That, that character cracks me up. But it's a some of the best Christmas songs. That's what I was going to talk about. The music in that. Mm-hmm. It's it's. Have you have you seen this or has it been a long time? It's been a while. Okay. I, I didn't rewatch all of these, unfortunately. <laughs> don't, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but they have the song on there. Put one foot yep. in front of uh, the other. Oh, oh so it's classic. Is I, that the one that's got the uh, uh, the the gift one where they they open the gift and there's nothing in it, and they're like. It's just what I always wanted, a Christmas delight. Huh? Is it, or is that Jack Frost? <laughs> that doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, there's one of the claymation ones. I know in the where end, Burger Meister I, Meister Burger gets like a toy horse or something. I can't I think remember it's a horse. Which, and he's I can't like, I've movie always is, wanted a toy horse. <laughs> and like Christmas is saved because he got him the one gift that he wanted since he was a kid. But like his parents I do remember sucked. that, yeah. I don't know. It's a good movie. I just remember he slips on a... It deserves to be higher than what you guys put it. I mean, <laughs> I still have it. Frosty, this movie is dope, man. Okay. So, yeah, we're good there. Can we do Frosty next? Yeah, let's Get do Frosty. Of, that's the worst of the three. I have it at 12. Okay. I have it at 11. Uh, six? One, two, three. Mm. Seven. Sorry. Seven. Can I can I say why I hate it so much? Okay. Because the, the idea that let's put a top hat on a snowman and then it'll come to life and say happy birthday... Mm. Baffles the hell out of me. That <laughs> someone was like, "This is a good idea." Yeah, so no, it's a dumb idea. Cool, but yeah, I have it at the bottom. So it's a classic, but yeah, it's it's not good. Awesome. Right. It it was it was the middle of my claymation ones. Uh, we're just gonna get like worse and better. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Next one we have here is uh the Santa Claus. That's the worst one. <gasps> That's number thirteen. Tim Allen's the Santa Claus. Yeah. Do we watch the same movie? Yes. Oh my God. It's number eight for me. You, Rob. Yeah. It is the dumbest plot of all of these Christmas movies. It's a pretty dumb plot, but I enjoyed the movie. He murders. To- Santa Claus dies in the first act. <laughs> he doesn't act. murder him. He kind of does. If that's how it works, well, yeah, I'm going dies. straight up to Tim Allen murdering him, and now I'm Santa Claus for life. That's right. Awesome. Well, you could murder him, but he didn't murder Santa Claus. The guy Claus. fell off the roof. It's uh, involuntary Why? manslaughter. Why? Yes, thank involuntary you. Involuntary yes. manslaughter, manslaughter is anything. murder. At, at best. <laughs> all he did was yell at him. Anyway. Uh, it's a bad movie. <laughs> here, I, uh, I'm going to talk about this similar to The Grinch and Elf. Uh, I have it at five. It's right in the middle. Uh, but the reason I liked it is the first half because he's just a smart ass and makes me laugh. And then the reason I hate it near the end is because it hits on that Christmas cheesiness that I kind of lose luster and hate it after a while. I'm like, mm-hmm. come on. You lost your, you lost the spirit of the funniness of the movie. Mm-hmm. So, uh, But yeah, that's why I had it at five. But otherwise, no, the premise is fine. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> you killed Santa. You become Santa. That's... I thought it's it, the Santa Claus. Yeah, I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you you know where I stand. They, I'm, not wasting, like, I'm not wasting my energy. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Go I got other things I want to argue about. <laughs> Cindy Lou, who actually likes this movie. <laughs> uh, next one we have is Elf. I'm su- Elf is number six for me. I'm surprised it it fell all the way to seven for me. I have it at six. Okay. Man, yeah, we uh, all agreed pretty pretty heartily on so that. So I watched this a ton. Oh, I mean, it's and a it was movie. funny, but yeah. it falls in the same vein. Like that whole back half, I'm like, you kind of lost the funny. Zoe Deschanel is great. She's fantastic, but I think she drags the movie down in the second half a little bit. Okay. Like, hmm. oh yeah, women. I, I love, women, right? I love. No, well, no. <laughs> wow. It, the <laughs> first, kidding, don't the first that. part <laughs> is all about Christmas and family and finding your place, and then it's about love. I'm like, you know. Stick. And Nathan just doesn't love love. Well, no. It's just if you're going to make a Christmas movie about family and finding your place in the world, I don't know. I could have done without the love story. Peter Dinklage kind of saved it, though. Oh, he did. He was great. I don't remember. He plays uh, Miles Finch, the the book writer. The mid- I mean, he's the only little guy in the movie. I, I know. I, it's been a semi, while. But <laughs> it's been a while. Has so. it been a while? Oh, okay. But yeah, we have. I think we all had it right in the middle. So it's a yeah. so-so life. Okay. I, yeah, but I feel like it. I don't know. Elf is one I had of those a, movies. I know, you know, I know, but I had it's a, like you can't, yeah. It's it's like everybody's like when they think about a Christmas movie, they're like that's what they think about a lot of times. Charlie, no, this is what happens when we number things. Yes, I don't like this. <laughs> Elf should be at the top. <laughs> no. Why? Uh, next one is a Christmas story. Where is it on my list? <laughs> I know, right? uh, five for me. Nine. Seven. No, man. <laughs> See, I don't like, like numbers. <laughs> All right, next movie. <laughs> next one. Yeah. All right, so we're, yeah, five, seven, nine. All right, so it's a seven. 
<laughs> I think this is yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> uh, is it? Is it? Uh, I do have a question though. Do you guys? Uh, is it the TBS twenty four hours where you're kind of like, all right, I'm good now? What you didn't know that? Repeat that. TBS has it on you like on twenty four hour repeat uh, from Christmas Eve at oh, like see, six o'clock till Christmas Day six o'clock. See, yeah, I think part of the reason why I put it so low, it's a good movie. It's fine. I'd give it like an eight and a half, maybe out of ten. Yeah, but it's, it's overplayed. Oh, ev- that, that that's like the Christmas movie. And no, it's absolutely. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just right in the middle. It's so so life. Oh my gosh, we're putting so many classics like right here. <laughs> People are gonna be so mad. That's fine. They'll be gay. Uh, next one we have is a Nightmare Before Christmas. Number one for me, but you guys knew that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my suggestion for this list. <laughs> ah, yes. yes. <laughs> it's probably uh, it's uh, it's at six on my list. It's a really good movie. Um, I like it a lot, but to me, like this, this captures more of the vibe of Halloween than it does for Christmas, in my opinion. It, it's. I mean, it's, it's both. both. It's, it's both. both. It's one hundred percent both. But yes. So then it's, it's a Thanksgiving movie right in the middle. <laughs> that's how we're doing it around I mean, here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Thanksgiving is we're mentioned averaging. in the movie. It is. Oh yeah, they have the like the, the tree. tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had it at a pretty low number nine. I love oh. it. I love it. It's good, but I don't know. Like I just. I don't, that's less of a Christmas you movie. Haven't to you haven't said a lot of uh, top movies. I feel like you've already gone through your bottom. I mean, I have the worst one still on here, but otherwise, yeah, I got some. I got Santa some Claus. <laughs> No, no. We talked about that one. No, not the Santa Claus. It's not the worst. It's good. Christmas so, Carol? So, so where are we putting Nightmare Before Christmas? Where'd you have it? One. What'd you have it? I forget. Uh, I wasn't listening. Six. I wasn't listening to you. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so-so life because I got a lower than that too. So it's fine. Damn. You'll you'll live, Charlie. I know. <laughs> uh, we'll go with the worst one. It's a wonderful life. Huh? You heard me. You heard me. The worst one. That hit number 10 for me. Huh? You heard me. Just because a movie's made before like 1960 doesn't mean it's That has nothing to do with why it's not movie. a good movie. Dude, I fucking seen it like five times. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. And it's the worst one out of this it's list. Worse yeah. than The Grinch. Oh, I had that low too. Don't you fret. Uh, the Grinch is pretty high for me. <laughs> we'll fight on that. Why? We'll fight on that one later. <laughs> it's no, no. number f- four on my list. Four, okay. Can, can I ask why you like it so much? But when I say this, so my sister, this is her favorite Christmas movie yeah. of all. Like she's, this is her movie where she's like, kids go away, husband go away. It's Glass of wine, time, yeah. yeah. That's her mo- her Christmas it's just movie. So makes me feel things. I think makes it me all fuzzy. <laughs> and and I think and I don't like it. I don't I, like that it makes me feel things, but it does. <laughs> Look, can I can I can I say something before googling it? So at at the risk of being wrong, I think it's the only movie on this list too that actually won the award for best movie of the year, like from the Oscars. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty it sure did. that's what they call it too. Best movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I would. I would be very surprised if any other movie on this list made it to win an Oscar. Came even close for Best Picture or something like that. Pr- yeah, not you, not a single one of these. Are yeah. you kidding me? I'm pr- worthy. pretty sure the Santa Claus was up. For, right. <laughs> Best Picture, the Santa Claus. Tim Allen's got quite a bit of awards on his on his resume. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we don't need to Google it. No, <laughs> we can be wrong? wrong. No, we can be wrong. Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, Nothing okay, matters. That's fine. That's fine. All right, uh, so next one we have is The Grinch. We'll go ahead and talk about it, Charlie. Go ahead. Tell us why it's good. I put it at number two. Just just to be clear, we're talking about the Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey one, yes, not yes. the classic not, cartoon. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, I put still, it, and you still put it at two number after two. clarifying. Okay. I love Jim Carrey, and it's hilarious. <sighs> Ten. Twelve. Okay. Here's why. <laughs> you guys suck. No, no, it does the same thing. The movie, actually, I really enjoy it up until the Whovalation. Once they do their hubilation celebration, for some reason, starts getting good. It take no, no, no. It's not even that. Like that, that celebration sucks. And then, like I don't know, everything after that just takes a right turn on like the whole movie. And I was like, eh, uh, I don't know, just something before that. Y- you're not wrong. The back half is a is a bit lacking comparatively. Yes, it's like they were like, man, this first half we did great. And I just love Jim Carrey so much, and <laughs> he, I, I just crack up at that movie every single time. That's fair. yeah. I mean that's fair. I can't. I can't. I, I'm not going to argue with that. If you, I, I would say that still number two though, but it's fine. <laughs> if it brings you that much, it's Christmas. If it brings you that much joy, who am I to say no? This thing brings me joy. <laughs> 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 you're, you're about to yell at me. Christmas Carol. No. So uh, time out. Time out. Time yeah. out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Which one? There are many on there. I know. You, I. Which Christmas Carol are we talking about? Well, if we're, we're talking about the Jim Carrey one, because that's low. No, low, no, 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 no. We're talking, we're talking about the greatest yeah, Christmas here movie. Here we go. Put to film, put to even mankind, <laughs> The Muppet Christmas Carol, starring British knight 
Michael Caine. Don't Sir see, Michael Caine. Is he knighted, actually? I was questioning yeah, that. Sir Michael Caine. Sir Michael Caine um, with Kermit the Frog is gold. I, I'm going to you know, withhold my opinion from this one because I have not seen that. Disney Plus, my friend. It's on there. It holds that's, up. That's fair. And while I, you're on I there... I will watch it. But as, as it stands, general Christmas Carol for me, hit number 11. Best soundtrack, too. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen this Muppet one either. So, but for the sake of it, uh, I put it at number 10. Hmm. So... One. <laughs> but, so almost exactly what happened with yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on there, and then while you're at it, Muppet Treasure Island's on there. The Muppets. You're a big, you're a big Muppet person. Man, I haven't seen me. any of them. Mu- okay, Muppets are Pixar before Pixar. They were the kids' movies that parents could sit and actually watch with their kids and laugh with them, as long as the kids can also watch as well. And it's, yeah, they were Pixar before Pixar on that one. I'll take your word. Cool. Yep. That's all yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say here. I, yeah. In the end, guys, you should probably watch more Muppet movies. Okay. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> that, Get right that's on it. All. All that's right. all. Uh, next one. Home Alone. Number four. Two. Uh, three. Oh, we yeah. all like Home. I mean, Home Alone is, in my opinion, the best Christmas movie. It's a great movie. But, but number two. We'll get to it. Okay. Weird. Oh, no, we'll we get to it. We'll well, you know to which it. one he's putting no, in. No, 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 but one. I'm confused. No. You said it's the best Christmas movie. I think one of these movies on here is not a Christmas movie, but if it is included on this list, it is the best movie. We'll that get to it. confuses me because it is a Christmas movie. We'll get there. We'll get there. But yes, Home Alone is the best Christmas movie, in my opinion. It's the one that I watch every year. Brings me so much joy. The sequels are just as good except for four. Um, Apparently there's a fifth one out and I haven't seen it. Well, I hear they're also rebooting it too. Well, not oh. a reboot, but like uh, uh, in the same universe, like it's going to be Macaulay Culkin's kid or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Is Macaulay Culkin going to be in it? Probably like as the dad, which you'd be like, you've, you've been left alone like three <laughs> so times. Many times. Like, you're going to do that to your own kid on accident and you're just going to forget him? Sure. I, have a, I have a question. Yeah, so right. like uh, either of you guys have nieces or nephews. Well, you don't have any brothers, sisters, but do you have any nieces? Yes, okay. I do. How old are they? <laughs> Oh, offhand, I don't. Are any of them eight? No. Not eight yet? No. Okay. So I have a 13 and a 10 year old nephew. And so imagine you're, okay, your nephew's five. Yeah. Three years from now, gonna be left home for like a whole week. Is that kid gonna go grocery shopping? Is that kid really gonna, (laughs) first off, my brother would never do that. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Second off, you know, my brother would probably have stocked the fridge, but he would not have gone grocery shopping. No, they're going on vacation. Right, You're not he's stocking your fridge. Yeah, before vacation. right. He, you know what? He's a real shy kid. He would not be going to the store. Can you imagine, as an eight-year-old child, this kid not only went to the store, but also he created all these traps around oh, the house. You know the traps I could see him doing. And then the worst part is he held. They all have Pokemon in them. He purposely grabbed the tarantula and held it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do want to point this out. Um, so yeah, w- one and two are good. I'd say two is I like just as good. As I like one, two a lot. Three is definitely not as good. It's with some other kid. However, if you haven't seen Home Alone three, I actually highly recommend it. ScarJo. Yes, yeah, Scarlett Johansson's in it. Anyway, the first two, he, it's Macaulay Culkin versus like two burgul- burglars, and the third one, it's a kid against a bunch of terrorists. Dude, it's like yes. a group of like yes. six or seven terrorists. I don't remember trying to like that. blow up and like. As a standalone it's film, crazy. it's actually really good. It's okay. crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's just get to it. The the lame conversation of Die Hard. Yeah, we're going to do it, aren't we? Uh, we we don't even have to talk about if it's a Christmas movie or not. It's on the list. Let's just move okay. on from that part. Then, yes. So the fact that it is on this list, it's number one. 13. Ooh. Huh? Huh? I've never fully seen Die Hard. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say. I may have seen bits and pieces of Die Hard. Maybe. What? <laughs> I really, yeah. We're, I, we might have to cut some dead air out. I know. I genuinely, I genuinely don't know what to say to you. Like, I'm genuinely speechless right now. I told you I was going to make waves with my list. Uh-huh. Because, because, because the only oh, other spot. All I got is. Oh. The only other spot open on my list is number 12. Uh, hold on. Wait, can I have a question real fast? So you were arguing whether it is a Christmas movie or not. Is that the one you were talking about? And you said it definitely is. Yeah, I, I mean, I have no doubts in my mind that literally everybody in the world considers but this a Christmas movie. Is so Iron Man 3 a Christmas movie? Uh, no. What happened in but, that one? It, well, it takes place during Christmas. Is it a Christmas movie? Iron Man 3. See, no? but it's, it's never in the public conversation of is this a Christmas movie. Die Hard, so? is, Die Hard is the most Here, we'll, get it, in the, we'll get it in the conversation. Right. Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. Ooh. <laughs> so, is, so is Die Hard 2. <laughs> 
No, it's not. <laughs> Safe place on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. So you told <laughs> me that the other day. Here, here's, here's the thing. For it, in order for it to be a Christmas movie, it has to take place during Christmas 1 and capture the feeling and the the I'm joy pre- of Christmas. Pretty so pretty not sure, joy, but just... Oh, well, I'm pretty sure the pan away at the end of the movie, they do a Christmas song. No, it does no. Before the, yeah, the there was a Christmas go. song doesn't in the count. movie, apparently. Yeah. So, wait, anyway, it, I had where a, did you put it? I have it a four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. No, it's a great movie. Like it's it's Alan Rickman. That's all you have to say. Is Alan I mean, Rickman. I, I know the I know of the movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> and have I've you, seen. Have you heard of, of it? Spirit. That's the word I'm looking for. Spirit. Christmas spirit. <laughs> There's no spirit. Well, he's got a lot of spirit. He, anyway, I mean, what's on Rocket Plaza Plaza is yeah. basically a Christmas tree. <laughs> For someone who hasn't seen this movie, you know a lot about it. I watch it, a lot Charlie. of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and okay. he, just loves, he just loves Die Hard. He does. Uh, last but not least, Christmas Vacation. It's number 12. <laughs> because I've never seen huh. the whole thing. Huh. <laughs> I watched it last night. Huh. Yeah. Where'd you put it? I have it, too. Huh. Five. Okay. No, it's. I actually. What the fuck's wrong with you, Charlie? What the hell is wrong with you? (laughs) The two movies that you haven't seen all the way through is Die Hard and Christmas Vacation. No. What? (laughs) I I literally am. I can't. Can I say something? I noticed. We'll just talk about it real fast. Uh, So last night we were watching the movie, and um, there is a scene where the grandparents are sleeping in uh, the kids' room where it's a bunk bed, and Mm -hmm. so the mom's on the bottom and the dad's on top, and he's staring up at some model's poster. But little do you know. The poster behind the bed, it's two tortoises having sex. Hmm. That threw me for a loop. First time I've ever seen that. <laughs> first time you've ever seen tortoises having sex? No, actually, I saw that at the zoo once. But I'm okay. saying on uh, first time I saw that poster. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. oh, looky there. That's a nice <laughs> little funny thing to throw <laughs> <Yeah>. in there. <laughs> that's, I like that. Very yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> Classy. Classy. <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's, so, yeah, yeah, we're, let's wrap this up. Yeah, can we do that, please? Uh, so we're gonna, God damn! I don't. Even, let's get we only have here. one movie let's up top. We only have one movie up top. <laughs> That's this what happens just... when we rank them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this for our next one. <laughs> uh, we'll start at the bottom here. So I'd rather die hard than watch this film. It's Frosty, uh, Cindy Lou. Who actually likes this movie? The Santa Claus. It's a so-so life. God damn this list. Right if you're in the middle. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Elf, Christmas Story, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Grinch, It's a Wonderful Life, and Wait, time out. Christmas time Carol. out. It's a big problem when we have like 10 up at top, <laughs> but when we have 10 in the middle, that's fine. No, come on. I'm upset about yeah. this. All right? <laughs> Are you I'm, crying? I'm, yes, You're rubbing your eye a lot. <laughs> I, the idea that Muppet Christmas Carol is not... No, I'm kidding. Uh, and then Frosty, this movie is dope, man. Santa Claus is coming to town. Die hard at Christmas vacation. <laughs> One of those don't belong. And <laughs> Buddy the Elf, this is my favorite movie. We have Home Alone. Uh, for uh, our cocktail of the week, um, we don't have anything special. We have eggnog. Yeah. So go to the fucking store, <laughs> buy a carton of eggnog, buy your favorite spirit, bourbon, whiskey, whatever you want in there, mix the two bitches Brandy. together with some ice, mm-hmm. and have yourself a wonderful day. <laughs> yeah. like, so, holidays are stressful enough. You don't need to buy right. all these ingredients. No, no shaking, no nothing like that. Uh, <laughs> stir. Just so, get a cup. Yeah, guys, before we close out, wish them uh, everyone a Merry Christmas. Someone, yeah. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. From from Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> glad glad we're glad to be back. Yeah, honestly, glad yeah. to celebrate it with you guys. Glad we're doing this again. So. so thank you guys so much. Merry Christmas to you. And as always, bars closed. <laughs>